Do you have a prop bet that stood out and maybe one that mm. you uh, cleaned up on, or the most compelling prop bet for you was what? Well, I had tails. I gave everyone tails. That was the easiest prop bet of you all time. That. So tails Nailed won. It. Yep, I did. I did. And then uh, I know Paulie had the same as me, but I I basically hammered every single Julian Edelman prop before the game. I had him over over receptions, over yards, over yards for his first catch. Those all hit. And then I did get I did uh, have a little inside tip, even though I think Ravel is getting roasted right now on Twitter. But I got an inside <laughs> tip about the Maroon Five song, so I was able to win a little bit on that. Oh, well. you you had an insider maybe during rehearsal? Is that where you're uh, inkling? I didn't have an insider during rehearsal. I had, well, I had someone who told me that they were told. So it was a secondhand tip that when you get a secondhand tip like that, it's hard to then go tell everyone else. I told a few people what I had heard, and um, I was able to get – the thing is, you don't get to win a lot of money on those props because they just – they limit it because there's a human element to it, and people can get inside tips and can find out you know, what their first song is going to be or what, 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 you know, how long the national anthem is going to be. But it is always fun to get those inside tips every now and then. Now, Big Cat, you always go with the over. At what point last night did you give up that it was going to even come close? Or do you still stand by that bet? Yeah. Okay. So here's the spin zone. And I'm, I'll just say to pat myself on the back, it's genius. But here we go. That was the lowest scoring Super Bowl of all time. All time. All time. I think the second lowest was 21 total points. It it was Super Bowl five or six. If you are going to lose a bet, if you lose a bet, losing it in historical fashion is actually worth something. I lost the over-under last night by 40 and a half points. (laughs) That is almost impossible to do. So you have your... almost impossible to do for a football game. This is a great story. Now now you have a story. Yeah, correct. Like, I will be telling my kids and my grandkids someday, hey, you know, I bet an over-under in the Super Bowl and lost by 40 and a half points. And it makes that – is, that is actually almost impossible to do to lose that drastically and by that large of a margin, that I'm actually okay with it. I would rather lose this way than have it be, you know, the game finish 30 to 28. Or, sorry, that would have hit it. But 30 to 24 and lose by two points. So I'm okay with it. I'm part of history. I can say it's like a where were you when, you know, the miracle on ice, where were you in all these important moments? Well, where were you when the over-under of the Super Bowl lost by 40 and a half points? For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.